what's up guys welcome back to my channel Nikki's here I'm back home it feels really good even though there's no oceans right next to me anymore but um it's good to be home you know that feeling of missing your own bed and so um, I'm back and I want to just take a couple minutes just to thank all of you who are continuously supporting me and to all of the new viewers, new subscribers. Hello, my name is Nikki. I make videos sharing my journey with uh, my gastrointestinal disease uh, called GERD. I can never really say that whole thing out but you know, you know GERD. Um, just a little recap for those of you who are new because when I started having this disease, there was nobody that I know have it before um, or it was kind of hard to find anyone who can relate to it so um, I just want to make this video share with you everything what I feel my pain you know what I eat and whatever that I can share to hopefully um, uh, those information can be beneficial to some of you and I know that even though like everyone is different but you know sometimes it's it helps to just even have that um, Peace of mind that hey there's someone out there that going through the same thing and can just like emotionally feel better that way so yeah so that's what my channel is about but now that I am getting better I not not only sharing you know um, everything's about GERD but continuously I want to show you guys that you know there is a way that you can work with your body to make it better and besides that I also make other fun video like I, sh I share videos of me going travel um, just random things, you know, makeup and different products that I find interesting. So yeah, that is me and my channel and thank you for subscribing and welcome to the family. So let's get on today's video. Today's video um, is kind of just like relaxing but also I just want to come and answer some questions like popular questions that I see people ask all the time and especially I know that those of you who just started watching my channel uh, and you haven't watched my past videos I do want to just come and answer these very popular questions okay so let's get started so I'm going to pull up um, the questions on my phone because you guys posted uh, on YouTube so I would just have to log in real quick and pull up those questions and I hope you guys are doing well and later I'm going to address something really really important and I, I just want to make sure that you guys get this right because like misinformation is such a bad thing like it's so wrong like when people get the wrong message out of it and that is something that I do not ever want to happen so I do want to just emphasize some something about the past couple of videos you know when I posted about um you know that I am getting better I don't want you guys to have wrong ideas so let's talk about it in just a minute but first let's go to our popular question so the first question this is not the first time that I got asked this questions and most of you have this this disease and most of you already know the symptoms but I guess if you're interested in knowing my symptoms and I got asked this question a lot so I want to answer it today so I'm cute hi I'm cute <laughs> um, ask me hi Nikki doctor prescribed Prilosec so pretty much I've uh, seen a doctor and got prescribed Prilosec and antacid which is a great start and then he asked do you mind telling us what was your symptoms thanks so thank you uh, for asking this question and I got asked this questions like many many times and I have replied to most of your questions but I want to just make sure today I um, answer this question publicly and hopefully this will help like new viewers and also people who just started uh, got diagnosed with GERD so my symptoms I just want to note that everybody's symptoms different and there's a majority of like a um, major you know like very classic symptoms that most people have but I just want to say that there are different symptoms that some people experience and you know like some others don't so for me my symptoms were uh, burning sensation on my chest um, I get really nauseous most of the time even drinking water I would feel that I need to throw up and that feeling of like um, have you ever eat something and then just feel like it's just not digested so it's just sitting so the feeling of like food just sitting in my stomach and not digesting and that's why like, I feel nauseous so the nausea nausea was so bad that um, I couldn't really eat anything and it gets worse when I lie down 
so I can't lie down uh, like completely flat I have to either sit up on the couch and sleep like that or I would have to get like like three pillows and you know try to elevate myself so that was the strongest symptom is the uh, nausea burning sensation on my chest and I couldn't even burp as well and every time if I could burp it feels really good I guess just because that your digestive tract is not working properly as it should now besides those two strongest symptoms is nausea and burning sensation on the chest I also get shortness of breath so I would do this a lot and I still feel like it's hard for me to breathe oh, sorry I just get <laughs> my fingers um, and then I would also feel like behind my throat there's always the feeling of there's some food there like there's like you know have you ever take medicine like a big medicine pill and feels like it's stuck there so I had that feelings um, constantly at some point it was really uncomfortable so all of those symptoms got me like sick enough to just not able to really eat or drink anything and then I lost a lot of weight so that's another symptom it's like you know you will get uh, weight loss burning sensation uh, feeling of food behind your throat uh, and then nausea like I actually sometimes like it's so uncomfortable that I have to make myself vomit vomit the food out to release that you know like feeling so those are the uh, all the symptoms that I experience so here you go that's my symptoms I hope that um, this answer a lot of your questions and uh, hopefully you will have an idea sorry something in my eye and hopefully you have an idea of um, what like classic GERD symptom is and I do know that many of you have other symptoms as well but I'm very sure these symptoms at least one or two of these symptoms are like present when you have GERD or acid reflux acid reflux and GERD are pretty much the same thing it's just that people start getting acid reflux right and then acid reflux long term that that is GERD pretty much GERD is just mean acid reflux that happens in a long period of time and it can become really dangerous because if you don't treat it well it can uh, turn into Barrett's esophagus and that is a precancer and you don't want to have that <laughs> all right so that question is done thank you um Q for asking this question then next question number two a lot of people ask me this questions what kind of medication that I'm taking or I have taken in the past and this is very important because I know that um, a lot of you don't go see doctors and I really think that you should go see doctors and many many of you uh, actually have seen doctors already so that's a really good progress to start um, I don't know how many of you are in the US or which other country uh, you're from but absolutely I just feel much better um, that at least you know for me that's why I also want to just share with you all, all of this information because I believe that doctors here in the US are like one of the best so if anything like we can compare and maybe you can suggest your doctors back home to maybe consider you know doing some of these treatments and actually like my doctors he He's really big on just like natural remedies and you know like making your body heal itself so he didn't like recommend me to stay on those medications for a long time so that's one thing that I really really like about my doctor and I also hope that you know um, your doctors is the same because like it's very easy to just prescribe medication right and you can keep on taking medication but there's always side effects and I don't want you guys to rely on these medication for too long because there's always bad side effects and also um, if there's a natural way to do it then why not so the medication that I took I'm not taking any medication for a year now I haven't had to touch any of those medication and I feel great so but in the past the first like mm, two three years I was on Prilosec every single day, one pills a day, early in the morning before eating anything and then uh, wait 20 minutes before I eat breakfast. So Prilosec 20.1 milligram I believe um, or another name for Prilosec um, or the ingredients. Prilosec is the brand and the ingredients is the uh, 
here I'm gonna list it out here I don't know if I can pronounce it properly but I think it's omeprazole right and then um, if also on top of the Prilosec if I still get discomfort um, sometime like during this time when I'm taking the Prilosec not to give me Zantac so Zantac is more just reactive it just neutralized the acid it's an antacid so um, you take that and it will you know treat the problem right away but you know it's likely that um, it will come back so that's why usually doctor will give you those two together or the, the most important one is the Prilosec just because it suppress your stomach like uh, producing acid so that is one of the PPI class and PPI class just because it is suppressing the, the acid in your stomach um, which you need to digest your food properly um, there's a lot of things like you know you will become deficient in calcium is one of the most important things so you will probably have to talk to your doctor in getting the right supplement so um, those two I was on for the longest time like two three years and then uh, 2016 so two years ago I got the um, ITP which is a blood disorder and I had to go on steroids and steroids the same as you know uh, certain painkillers in that class the ibuprofen so those medication can cause stomach bleeding so when I was on the steroid it's called prednisone um, doctor prescribed me something stronger so it's it is also a PPI proton pump inhibitor so but it is much stronger so the name is protonics so protonics it has to be prescribed so Prilosec you can get over the counter but uh, protonics or some other stronger medication the doctor needs to prescribe you this and I was on um, how many milligram I think 40 milligram and twice a day so that's 80 milligram a day but because I was taking the steroids I had to take um, this protonics otherwise I, my stomach would get messed up so I was on that for two two three months and after that I went back to Prilosec uh, when I'm not taking the steroid anymore, I went back to Prilosec. So I was still taking Prilosec, Prilosec on and off up until like last year, 2017, like in like February. Yeah, I started to stop taking all these medication and started to look for like natural remedies. And um, so I started to take DGL licorice, which I share the video reviewing this um, I will link the link up here so you can click on it if you haven't watched it and that works amazingly like literally if I have a flare I just take that and I can feel that it's coating my stomach and you know that the the track and I could just feel that the pain like goes away like gradually um, and then the end of last year I started to um, try aloe vera gels and it has been working really great as well um, the only reason why I'm not taking the G DGL licorice anymore is just because I have the uh, blood problem so my blood is really thin and DGL licorice tends to also one side effect is that it makes your blood even thinner so um, it can cause like bleeding so because I have that problem with my blood being too thin I can't take DGL licorice anymore but when I was taking it, it it worked really well so now I have to find alternatives and uh, someone recommended me trying slippery, slippery M and to be honest the first two times when I tried it like I had a feeling like it was just making me uh, my stomach feel so full and I constantly was burping like the whole day so I didn't like it but then I gave it another try and after that second time I don't know why but none of those symptoms appear and I felt actually really good so on the trip um, to Mexico I actually brought with me this is the only thing I brought I didn't bring any medication I brought, oh, brought like um, you know like 10 pills so they come in a capsule like this and whenever if I accidentally eat something I'm not supposed to and I feel heartburn is coming I take one and literally like 10 minutes later gone so I really recommend you guys try this. It's, it's natural. It's from the nature. So there's you can't hurt yourself trying this. 
um, and then another one is the aloe vera gels that I've been loving loving so these two are my best friend um, I don't need medication anymore just because of these two so that answered the question what kind of medication that I took